Welcome to Vote TV. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. And before I even proceed, I want to say thank you very much for the support uh, that I'm getting from folks all over the place. Um, this channel is growing at a very fast pace. And I want to say thank you for that. Now, sexual abuse is a common phenomenon among domestic workers who are in the Middle East. When I say I'm domestic workers, I'm talking about Kenyan domestic workers who are working in the Middle East. The problem is most of them don't speak out. For obvious reasons, they are afraid of losing their jobs and they have kids and they have families to look after back home. And when you think about the currency and you, you think about the money issue, they don't speak out. I actually did a survey on my TikTok page at Vote TV and was surprised by the statistics because the women who took part in that particular survey have you ever been a victim of sexual abuse at work 38 percent say yes last year i personally rescued two rape victims last year alone one of the victims was actually or is actually a daughter of a politician back in Kenya uh, my Facebook followers you know the story and I personally helped her to Kimboy run away And she was rescued and now she's back in Kenya I was actually talking to her uh, the day was it today's when today's uh, Tuesday I was talking to her on Sunday and I will tell that story on a different um, session but today I want us to talk about the second victim that I rescued. I fought for this young lady with everything that I had. And her name is Elizabeth Jepketer. What makes her story unique is because Jepketer was not raped by her employer. Jepketer was not raped by any random citizens on the streets. Jeb Keter was raped by two Saudi police men. She was raped by cops. It's, it's a sad story, man. Like, even thinking about it now, I just get goosebumps. Because here you have a young girl, a young lady, who was escaping from mistreatment from her employer, got on the streets. She sees a, a vehicle, and it's a police vehicle. They stop, there was two cops in the car, and they asked her, are you okay, are you, you know, are you safe? And she said, no. And they told her, get in the car, we're gonna drive you to the station, and then from the station, then we can take you to the office. Anybody else would say, without any second thought, yes, 
This is my rescue. And she got in that car and they drove. And from what she told me, she could actually see when they approached the police station, she could see where the police station was. She could see the, the offices. She could see the building and they stopped the car. Like a few meters away from the entrance and they raped her inside the car. Two cops did it. It's a long story. But I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud of that young soul because she tried when she went you know when she was caught when she went to the office and when when she reported it and said what happened she went to court and there was too much going on at the time and she stood her ground and she said yes I was raped and I, I'm seeking justice but unfortunately the, the case was never solved in in Saudi Arabia so they gave her the passport they booked the ticket and she flew back to Kenya and I was communicating with Jepketer every single day until she landed in Kenya and when she arrived she told me you know what Nelson I want to speak up I want to speak up not only on my behalf but I want to speak up on behalf of other women other Kenyan women other Kenyan domestic workers who are in Saudi Arabia who have gone through the same thing that I've gone through will Elizabeth Jepketer ever get justice something else I remember announcing on my TikTok breakfast show on my Vote TV family breakfast show I announced that I would be hosting Jeb Keter to tell her story for the first time ever and that day someone reported my live stream and I was suspended that's when I knew that they were tracking everything she was doing and they were trying to do everything possible to make sure that her story is never told you can't hide the truth man this happened I know it happened and we all know that it happened and I'll make sure that Elizabeth Jepketat she's now back in Kenya but I will make sure that she tells her story she will tell her story this is just an introduction this one right here, this is just the introduction. Elizabeth Jepketel will tell her story because she deserves to be heard. And she deserves to get justice. Okay? God bless you. Thank you for tuning, for tuning in. Thank you for uh, subscribing. If you haven't done it yet, please hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of content that I'm going to migrate and bring on, uh, on this YouTube channel. Stand up for humanity. Be, just have the, the courage to speak up for humanity. Have no fear. Make the world a better place. This is Nelson Mike Madama Ryuki. Rise, shine, prosper. God bless you. Mungu abariki. Guy, I'm Rabi. See you next time. Bye bye.